Good afternoon, and we'd like to take this moment to thank the judges for being here today to judge our presentation. Now, I'd like to start with a question. How many of you have ever gone into a grocery store or a vending machine or had given your kids school fundraiser and bought a plastic water bottle? I know I have. I definitely have. Now, let me tell you a story. About three years ago, I was on a beach trip with my family and we went to San Clemente State Beach. When we were there walking along the rocks, we saw a seal with plastic around its neck. Now, I've read about the statistics, I've heard the stories, I've seen the videos, but I had never seen that firsthand. And to see it firsthand is horrifying. To know that we are doing this to our wildlife and to our environment, that's just crazy. We live here. Why aren't we doing anything about it? Did you know that one million bottles of plastic, of plastic bottles are brought every minute worldwide? And by 2020, we will be consuming more than half a trillion water bottles. By 2050, we will be producing over 200 million tons of plastic waste. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are doing to our oceans, our waterways, what we are consuming, and what we are feeding our marine wildlife. We're destroying our planet. Thankfully for you, we have developed a new water bottle a biodegradable water bottle that we call BioBottle. Now, BioBottle is different because we found a new secret formula to create a water bottle that's cheap and good for the environment. It's the water bottle that produces a great taste and no waste. I'd like to take this moment to further introduce our team. My name is Tanya Santana. I'm the CEO and founder of BioBottle. As a CEO, my main responsibilities are making important corporate decisions and managing overall operations and resources of the company. My name is Subi Samatimba, and I am the CFO of this company. I'm responsible for financial management, planning, and risks of our company. I'm Iyao's. Uh I'm Iyas, the COOs for these companies, the persons who design for decisions for their pl future plan. My name is Donna Ruiz, and I am responsible for the technology and computers. Last year in the U.S., over 50 billion plastic water bottles were consumed. And of those 50 billion, 91% of them were not recycled. This results in plastic ending up in the ocean, and there are a few biodegradable products that exist, but they are incredibly expensive and unreliable. What we need is a water bottle that conserves the environment. Our solution to this problem is a bio-based biodegradable water product that is environmentally friendly and cheap to produce. Our benefits of this project, product are that it is, acts like plastic and behaves like an organic waste, while decomposing within 180 days. We plan to launch this product mid-2019 and eventually hope to mass produce it. Um, as you saw on the last slide, it can be thrown out with regular trash, making it easier on families while keeping marine wildlife safe. I will introduce our company's targets for um, for the primary markets, we will pay attention for the environmental group and their sponsors' cooperation, such like the, uh, the EPAs and their green place. Also, uh, we, whatever they do for their public events, they will buy our water bottles and to distribute it. We think that we will get the cooperation with them to make our produce more populous. And for the second market, we will sell our produce to the individuals age from 16 to 13. We think that they were more easy to focus on the series of the environmental problems. Also, we will sell our water bottle for 24, 24 bottles for uh, $15 and the single bottle just for $1. This four place is which place we sell our produce first because we the, the, the reason is that uh, this four plates is the top four of the environmental contrast cities in the West Coast. This, there are the 
Seattle and uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego. Um, we, we aim to get celebrity and company endorsement um, when profits allow it, and we also want to be advertised on TV and on social media, such as YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and more. And we will also be willing to cooperate with environmental protection agencies. Um, our internet sales will be based off on website, our product being on websites such as Amazon, eBay, and our own. And we will hope to be having our product in vending machines, on school campuses, and on any other public areas. The two major markets we're in right now are the biodegradable market and the plastic water bottle market. Well, now we're redefining that, so the, the regular water bottle markets. The biodegradable market is expected to rise 2.5% by the year 2020. Meanwhile, the water bottle market is already a $350 billion market, and it is expected to have a 10% year-on-year growth. This chart illustrates the growth, which started in 2013 and will continue past 2021. This is our comp we used uh, four, four companies to compete with our companies. There is each company will use the different materials to do the water bottles. Also, for these four categories, we can easily to see that the, the bio bottle is the best material to do the, for the environment. In this graph, you can see how the inventory and the other categories have the amount of money we will need to start our business. And at the bottom of the graph, we have the 90-day revenue, which is about $4,000. Um, and our manage for our management team, we will also be hiring environmental managers, officer managers, and marketing managers to improve our business. This is our projection slide, and as you can see, within our first year of opening, we would have around eight thousand. We would be losing around eight thousand dollars, which is expected when opening any small business. By our first, our second year, we would have around forty-four thousand dollars in profit, and by 2021, we would hope to have one hundred twenty-eight thousand and more due to the ten percent growth in the water bottle industry. Our future plans, including the Amazon's retail store and the uh, vending machines, eventually we hope to be the nationwide and worldwide in the future. In conclusion, if we don't do anything about the plastic bottle consumption in our world today, we're not going to have a world to live in. We need to do something, and that something is... Oh, time's up, I'm sorry. So uh, thank you for your time.